In this video, I'm going to describe semi-log paper. Semi-log paper is comprised of two different scales. On the Y scale, you have a normal scale, and on the X axis, you have a log scale. This is called semi-log. Now, as you can see on the X axis, the division in between each number varies. So if this was 1, this next line would be 2, this would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the property of a log scale is that it will go by the units. This is a 10, so this will be 20, this will be 30, the next line would be 40, and so on until I reach 100. Then this one would be 200, 300, and it has this characteristic, so this one will be 1,000. Then the next biggest line will be 2,000, and so on until I get to 10,000. This one would be 20,000, and so forth. And then this is 100,000. So this is what the semi-log graph units will look like. So I will have my normal division going in the y-axis. And in the x-axis, I see here that each of these lines is a multiple of 10. So this multiple of 10 starts where at the beginning of where you have the largest gap. So all of these lines are where you have a multiple of 10. So from 1 to 10, you multiply by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 would be 1,000 and so on. Between each of these main numbers, we call this a decade. So one group between that 10 factor is called a decade. This concludes the description of semi-log paper.